Good day and welcome to Big Bad Tech. I'm your instructor, Jim Pytel, and today we'll learn to configure the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive for remote operation. This lecture is predicated on the assumption the viewers watch the motor drive protection mechanisms featuring the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive lecture available at the Big Bad Tech channel. If you haven't watched this lecture yet or only dimly recall its contents, please take the time to do so now. Additionally, since we'll be dealing with this particular manufacturer's parameter programming process and navigation within it, it may help to download the associated datasheet and or user manual. In previous application examples featuring the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive, among other activities, we learned to configure an external speed potentiometer for remote control of rotational speed, as well as configure the multifunction digital output and multifunction electromechanical relay to indicate status and interact with other elements in the system. Today we'll continue in this fashion, this time configuring the multifunction digital inputs to interact with remote elements like selector switches and push buttons. Thus far we've been restricting our operation of the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive to the run and stop reset button inside the digital operator group. The one exception to direct operation being the external speed potentiometer we configured in the installing a speed potentiometer on the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive lecture available at the Big Bad Tech channel. If you recall, we installed a speed potentiometer and programmed the drive to recognize it rather than the frequency adjustment knob in the digital operator group using extended function parameter A001, frequency reference selection. The run command on the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive has a similar setting Extended function parameter A002, run command selection. 01 is the multifunction digital input terminals. This is the setting we'll make use of today. 02, the default setting, is the run and stop reset button in the digital operator group. 03 is over communication channel. Before navigating to and changing these parameters, let's establish a base state, establish a common language, and install some external devices. Before making use of the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive, we'll initialize the drive to a default state and clear any errors using the initialization protection parameter B084. Then we'll program it to recognize a 200 watt motor with a nominal rotational speed of 1800 RPM using the motor settings parameters H003 and H004. Due to space constraints, we won't be using an external speed potentiometer input for this exercise, but rather using the frequency adjustment knob in the digital operator group. The start state establishes a 60 Hz base frequency, a 60 Hz maximum frequency, forward default rotation, a linear volts per Hz ratio, a 10 second linear acceleration, and a 10 second linear deceleration time, among other properties. Given this start state, the motor drive is now ready for today's activities. First and foremost, this drive allows two, technically four, different means of logical digital interaction with remote devices, three of which are totally totally wrong ways to think about logic. Now I could go into a lengthy discussion about the differences and advantages and disadvantages of sourcing and syncing or whether the opening or closure of a device signals an on or off state, but I won't because only one method is correct and all the others are wrong. Now I'm certain you'll find people out there that are of the opinion that I'm wrong and that they're right, but I assure you they are wrong and I am right. I am of the most fervent, passionate, and zealous conviction that the presence of voltage indicates on and the absence of voltage indicates off. Additionally, I am of the most fervent, passionate, and zealous conviction that the switch should be between the source and the load or the input. While I understand there exist alternative configurations that yield equivalent results, they are unholy abominations to be scorned with the utmost of contempt. The Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive comes shipped with a shorting bar between terminals P24 and PSC, which assumes a syncing relationship. This is nonsense. For this reason, we'll swap the location of the shorting bar between terminals PSC and SC. This assumes a proper sourcing relationship. All is well in the universe. Now let's wire up some input. For the purposes of this particular lecture, we'll only be making use of two input devices. However, to demonstrate other functions in later lectures, we'll wire up enough inputs to fill a four-hole push-button enclosure. This also serves as a reminder of the versatility of a motor drive with multifunction inputs. 
by wiring up a collection of remote devices once, I am always free to return and reprogram the devices as needed. Let's use a normally opened Maintain Contact selector switch as input 1. A normally closed Momentary Contact red push button as input 2. A normally open Momentary Contact green push button as input 3. And a normally open Momentary Contact yellow push button as input 4. Let's wire them up, top to bottom. Normally open selector switch. Normally closed red push button. Normally open green push button. Normally open yellow push button. Make sure you can positively identify the switch and the terminals. Despite the fact that the push button enclosure is right next door, realize the purpose of this exercise is to remotely control this drive from a different location. This push button enclosure could be in a different room, in a different building, in a different state, in a different country, or on a different planet, provided you had wires that long. Given we're limited to four devices in this enclosure, we don't have room for an external speed potentiometer. However, if you had room, you could wire that up for remote operation also, as well as a fifth input device for the remaining multifunction digital input, S5. This being said, four inputs is more than enough for our purposes. Now we need to program this drive to recognize these four inputs. Warning, what I'm about to do now is dangerously wrong. Namely, I'm about to leap before I look. Let what is about to happen be a lesson to those that act before they think. Navigate to extended function parameter A002, run command selection, select mode. As anticipated, it's in the default state of 02, direct operation via the run and stop reset button in the digital operator group. Decrement to 01, the multifunction digital input terminal, then select enter to save it. As soon as we press enter, something bad happens. Namely, the motor starts spinning in reverse. Why did this happen? The answer, as I suggested earlier, is because you leaped before you looked. The source of the present problem is that before handing off operation from the digital operator group to the multifunction input terminals, is that the motor drive has pre-assigned default functions to the inputs that may or may not be compatible with the present configuration of remote devices. The point being that the motor drive is not a thinking machine, meaning it will do what it is told to do. If you tell it to drill a hole through your hand, or tell it to destroy itself, it will do so without a moment of hesitation. The default function of input 1 is 00, zero forward. The default function of input 2 is 01, reverse. The default function of input 3 is 18, reset. The default function of input 4 is 12, external trip. Note the remote input device connected to input 2 is normally closed by nature, whereas all other devices are normally open. Upon handing off operation to the multifunction input terminals, the motor drive sees the presence of voltage on input 2 and rightly starts executing acceleration in the reverse direction as defined by the default function assigned to input 2, reverse. The point again being that the motor drive is not a thinking machine, but something that does what it has been programmed to do. Let this be a lesson to those of you that think otherwise. The far more appropriate way to program this drive is to first assign the desired function to the appropriate inputs, then hand off operation from the digital operator group to the multifunction input terminals. This way the drive executes the desired functions right out of the gate and we're less likely to get a valuable portion of our anatomy ripped off should this motor unexpectedly spring to life. Let's go about this in the proper manner, shall we? Ensure extended function parameter. A002, run command selection is in the default state of 02. Direct operation via the run and stop reset button in the digital operator group. Each input has a truly dizzying range of functions that can be assigned to it, including but not limited to forward, reverse, three wire stop, three wire start, reset, jog, forward reverse selection, external trip, and more. Since this could get out of hand rather quickly given the numerous options available to us, Let's restrict our analysis to a very small set, namely 00 forward and 01 reverse. Let's first make use of only a single input. Let's say we want this input to execute a two-wire start function in the forward direction. Recall that a two-wire circuit is utilized in scenarios where customarily an automatic input, like a pressure switch, a float switch, or temperature switch, signals a motor to start or stop without the use of a holding contact. In this case, Let's assume input 3, 
the normally open push button is our simulated automatic input device. All the other inputs need to be deactivated. Navigate to communication parameter C001, multifunction input one selection. Press mode. As anticipated, it is in the default state of 00, zero forward. Increment this to 255 on assigned and press enter to save it. Navigate to communication parameter C02, multifunction input two selection. Press mode. As anticipated, it is in the default state of 0, 01, reverse. Increment this to 255 on assigned and press enter to save it. Navigate to communication parameter C003, multifunction input three selection, press mode. As anticipated, it is in the default state of 18, reset. Decrement this to 00, zero forward and press enter to save it. Navigate to communication parameter C004, multifunction input four selection, press mode. As anticipated, it is in the default state of 22, external trip. Increment this to 255 on assigned and press enter to save it. This motor drive has now been programmed to recognize only input three as the initiation signal for forward operation. Now that the inputs have been properly assigned, we now need to hand off control from the digital operator group to the multifunction input terminals. Navigate to extended function parameter A002, run command selection, select mode, decrement to 01, the multifunction input terminals, then select enter to save it. Nothing bad happens this time because the inputs have been properly assigned prior to handing off operation to the multifunction input terminals. This is the way to go. Given the frequency adjustment knob is pegged fully clockwise, when input three closes, the motor drive increases applied voltage and excitation frequency. The motor accelerates and speed stabilizes. When input 3 opens, the motor drive decreases applied voltage and excitation frequency. The motor decelerates and turns off. Note closure of the normally open green push button when input 3 is assigned the forward function enables the motor drive to act just like a traditional two-wire motor starter without the use of a holding contact. Only when the input is closed and actively being held closed does it energize the motor. When input 3 is held closed for less than the acceleration period, the motor drive only partially accelerates the motor. As soon as input 3 opens, the motor drive decreases applied voltage and excitation frequency and the motor decelerates. A timing diagram of the forward function would look like this. When the input executing the forward function is energized, the motor drive initiates the acceleration ramp up. If the input remains asserted, the motor drive will continue to operate at constant speed mode. When the input executing the forward function is de-energized, the motor drive initiates a deceleration ramp down, at which point it turns off. Note the motor drive will only reach constant speed mode if the input executing the forward function is energized longer than the acceleration ramp up. When the input executing the forward function is de-energized prior to reaching constant speed, the motor drive initiates an abbreviated deceleration ramp down. Let's enhance the functionality of this current system by adding a reverse mode to input four, the normally open yellow push button. Navigate to communication parameter C004, multifunction input four selection. Press mode. As anticipated, it is currently in the 255 unassigned function. Decrement to 01, reverse, and press enter to save it. This motor drive has now been programmed to recognize input three as the initiation signal for forward operation and input four as the initiation signal for reverse operation. This simple functional reassignment really highlights the utility of motor drives. Notice we didn't have to rewire it, nor do we have to go through any heartbreaking labor to fundamentally change the behavior of the system, but rather a couple simple taps on the keypad allows this new functionality. As previously, when the green push button on input three closes, the motor drive increases applied voltage and excitation frequency in the forward direction. The motor accelerates and speed stabilizes. When the green push button on input three opens, the motor drive decreases applied voltage and excitation frequency and the motor decelerates and turns off. Similarly, when the yellow push button on input four closes, the motor drive increases applied voltage and excitation frequency. The motor drive accelerates and speed stabilizes, only this time it's in the reverse direction. When the yellow push button on input four opens, the motor drive decreases applied voltage and excitation frequency, and the motor decelerates and turns off. As previously, 
When the green push button at input 3 is held closed for less than the acceleration period, the motor drive only partially accelerates the motor in the forward direction. As soon as the green push button at input 3 opens, the motor drive decreases applied voltage and excitation frequency and the motor decelerates. Similarly, when the yellow push button at input 4 is held closed for less than the acceleration period, the motor drive only partially accelerates the motor in the reverse direction. As soon as the yellow push button at input 4 opens, the motor drive decreases applied voltage and excitation frequency and the motor decelerates. By adding the reverse function to input 4, we've effectively added two modes to our system, forward and reverse. Which begs the question, what happens if both forward and reverse are simultaneously asserted? Recall that magnetic reversing motor starters incorporate mechanical and electrical interlocks to prevent the simultaneous closure of the forward and reverse contactors, an occasion ordinarily accompanied by a damaging arc flash. Let's see if this motor drive offers interlocking or if it explodes into a ball of white hot fire. When the forward input closes and is held closed, the motor drive accelerates the motor as previously. When the reverse input also closes, the motor drive doesn't burst into a ball of white hot fire, but rather begins a temporary deceleration whenever both inputs are being held closed. When given enough time to complete acceleration in the forward direction, the momentary closure of the reversing input also temporarily decelerates the motor whenever both inputs are being held closed. When both inputs are held closed long enough to fully decelerate the motor, the motor drive keeps the motor at rest until only one input is clearly asserted. When reverse remains closed and forward opens, the motor drive accelerates the motor in the opposite direction. A timing diagram of both the forward and reverse functions would look like this. As previously, when the input executing the forward function is energized, the motor drive initiates the acceleration ramp up. If the input remains asserted, the motor drive will continue to operate in constant speed mode. When input executing the forward function is de-energized, the motor drive initiates a deceleration ramp down, at which point it turns off. Note the motor drive will only reach constant speed mode in the forward direction if the input executing the forward function is energized longer than the acceleration ramp up. When the input executing the forward function is de-energized prior to reaching constant speed, the motor drive initiates an abbreviated deceleration ramp down. The input executing the reverse function experiences similar ramping behavior, only direction is reversed. If one input is energized while the other one was previously energized, the motor drive will initiate a deceleration event. If both inputs remain asserted for a complete deceleration, the motor drive will keep the motor at rest until only one input is clearly asserted and initiate acceleration in that direction only. Note deceleration from one mode and the subsequent acceleration of the opposite is exactly that, a controlled deceleration followed by a controlled acceleration and not an instantaneous plugging reversal characterized by a large current draw and a massive counter torque. For those wishing to compare and contrast these gentle reversal behavior with plugging, you're encouraged to visit the Plugging Circuits Lecture, available at the Big Bad Tech Channel. Before we bring this lecture to a close, allow me to demonstrate an extremely handy feature on the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive, namely remote input monitoring. Given the input devices may be remotely located or otherwise inaccessible, the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive allows the means of directly monitoring and displaying the status of the five inputs. A technician does so by navigating to monitor or display function D005, multifunction input monitor. The data display will show five digital indicators. Right to left, these represent the status of inputs S1 to S5. The top half of the display means the input is energized, and the bottom half of the display means the input is not energized. Given the input wired to S2 is normally closed, note this drive in its deactivated state would show S2 as energized. All right, that's about it for this quick applications exercise. Although we've just begun to explore the range of potential applications made possible by the numerous available functions for the customizable inputs, I think I'm going to bring this lecture to a close early since it could get out of hand given the range and possibilities available to us, and I'd hate for the larger points of this lecture to get lost in the noise. We'll examine other functions in later lectures, making use of this exact same four input setup. In conclusion, we installed external remote input devices and learned to program the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive to recognize and respond to these remote inputs. We changed the drive from syncing to sourcing input format, 
examine 0, 0, forward and 0, 1 reverse functions in detail, and discuss the proper sequence to hand off control to these remote inputs. Long story short, don't hand off control to the multifunction inputs until you first assign them the proper functions. Any shortcuts in this process could have disastrous consequences given input might have a pre-assigned default function incompatible with the present configuration and application. Finally, we learn to monitor the logical status of remote input devices using the multifunction input monitor function. Remember to review these concepts as often as you need to really drive it home. Imagine how well lab will go if you know what you're doing. Thank you very much for your attention and interest, and we'll see you again during the next lecture of our series. Remember to tell your lazy lab partner about this resource, and be sure to check out the Big Bad Tech channel for additional resources and updates.